homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, I hope the wind didn't messing my camera up. It's been an old windy day. It's almost like March already. It's mid-January. And this is the first day that it's not been so wet and soggy that uh, I could get out and prune trees. Now, uh, it's about 40 degrees out here, so it's good and cool. So you can work nice. I like working 40, 50 degrees. Uh, I don't like working at 25 degrees, but today I want to do a review of a pole lopper. Now this is the pole lopper that I have had since I was a kid. This was mom and dad's pole lopper. Uh, it's even got a patent number, made in USA on it it says. Uh, but if you look right here, you'll see that the, the snout, which is supposed to come down like this, like that, is broken off. So when this goes up, it allows the wood to come out the side so it doesn't cut anything anymore. Now, this is on a pole that's, uh, that is uh, very long. I think this one's a 14 foot pole, uh, plus the length of the head. And at one time it had a saw on it and the saw fastens on right here where this little square hole is. But, I never found those saws to be much pumpkin. Uh, so we didn't use it seldom. It's still up there in my shed, in my workshop, uh, hanging on a nail, but it's not on this lopper because I seldom ever used it. So when I decided to replace this, of course there are expensive options. You can see we've redone the spring two or three times on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think the main spring broke, and this is an old door spring that I had uh, from an old screen door, and I just modified it to work on it. So, do that stuff all the time. But this one, probably 30 years old. I don't know how much those would cost now, but I went to... Uh, went to Harbor Freight Tools and I bought this one. Okay. And uh, of course it's made in China. Item number 09712. So let's get this out of the package and see what it looks like. Well the package may be more than Old guy can figure out. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's out of the package now. There's what it looks like. I like this long beak. How long that'll hold up, I don't know. Uh, of course, it's got a saw that goes with it. And it has some instructions too. No man's ever looked at the instructions before. But in looking at this saw, looks like you can mount it this way or you can mount it straight up. So I'm probably not going to use the saw any, so I'll just tighten this wing nut here down. It's right there where the saw where the saw would fit on. I just tighten the wing nut down. And I'm not going to worry about the saw right now. Now, this couldn't be a review video if I didn't use it. So, what I'm going to do is I've got, I don't know, 13, 14 uh, trees to prune. And I won't get to all of them today. So, this video will probably take a couple of days. And then I'll come back to you and tell you how this did in comparison to the older one. Uh, of course, you put it over a limb, you pull it, and it closes up, and then the spring pulls it back up. Okay? That's how it works. So, 
do a do a quick thing right here so you can see. I'm going to be pruning. I'm going to be pruning this uh, peach tree soon. So let's pick a limb to prune off. Let's say I want to get rid of this one right here. Get this down here where I can reach it. Okay. There it comes. Now, this extends out. And it's got a little thing that you just tighten down. Well, if I can get tightened. There. You turn the whole handle to tighten it. Then you pick what you're wanting to cut. And put this over it. And I like it that it's thin. Because it can get right up against the tree. And then... You can remove those limbs pretty easy. So I'm going to use this in my in my uh, pruning video. I'm going to do a video on how to prune a tree, and uh, I'm going to use that in the pruning video. And then that, then I'll come back after I've pruned all my trees and give you my final thoughts on that little lopper. I'll see you in probably a day or two. Okay, let's uh, look at the pole printer. Uh, this is the second day and I'm about to lose the light. Uh, I have uh, pruned 12 of my 13 trees. You'll look back here, see that one right there? That old apple tree, I don't know if I'm going to prune it. That's, that was the 13th tree. Uh, it's close to the end of its life. It's got a whole lot of dead wood in it and uh, I may just let it live out its life as long as it's going to and then take it down in a year or two so but anyway this was a, a, a video about harbor freight pole printer Ow. now it expands out to about 11 feet uh, I know it says 12 feet but it expands out to about 11 feet it says the pruning capacity is one and a half inches. Well, at one and a half inches, you better be a brute. Okay? This is not that long, so the leverage is not as strong. So you better be very strong to pull this rope if you've got a one and a half inch limb in there. One inch limbs? Yeah, it does all right. Now, like all these tree pruners, I do like something better about this one than I do about my old printer. Of course, us old guys, we like our old tools. That's just the way it is. Uh, I love that old pole printer. It would prune a bigger thing because see how much longer this is? It made it easier to pull. Okay? But that's just the way it is, but the problem that it has, of course, is in order to expand it out, you have to do this, pull it out, tighten it back, which that's not a big deal. And the toggle on the end was made out of wood. Okay? So it wore out real quick. This is the second toggle, I think, I put on it, or maybe the third. But let's talk about this toggle. I like this. Okay? When the thing's expanded out, you have to use the entire length of rope. But when it's not expanded out, you can take this rope and go put it right through there and through that one. And when you pull that, when you pull that, this don't slide. 
okay so it's real handy for when you don't have the arm extended all the way out this is probably a great this is what I consider a great modification okay if I ever had a pruner again and I was going to make a handle for it, a wooden handle, I would add those two grooves in there and this groove right here. That's a perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I don't use my pruner for other trees. I use it for uh, fruit trees and I wipe it down between each fruit tree. If I'm doing a plum tree, when I get done, I take a Clorox wipe and wipe it down. Okay, that way you're not transferring stuff from tree to tree to tree. So between every tree, always wipe it. This is easy to clean, okay, because you have access all the way to the blade. It's easier to clean than my old one because the blade's covered on both sides. Okay, remember there's supposed to be another thing comes down here. So, it's easier to clean than my old. Now, only time will tell how long this thing will last. Uh, like I said, it says one and a half inch branches, but you better be a horse to pull and uh, cut off a one and a half inch branch. But it does pretty good at one inch. So that's my review of the Harbor Freight pole pruner. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do it yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff all the time, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. If you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.